Hi, welcome. I'm Helmut Licht. Thank you for joining me for this video. I have been a professional member of the American Federation of Astrologers since the middle 60s, which was created in 1938 and has been in existence ever since. And I was looking at President Trump's chart the other day and came across something very interesting that probably most of you already know, maybe not. And as I look at that particular situation in his chart, I would like to explain briefly about major progressions and the factors that have to be met, the qualifications that have to be met for a major progress aspect to have any influence. It's the best way I can put it. All right, let's go to his chart. Here is President Trump's natal chart. I will now add a second ring on the outside. Initially, the birth chart is copied into the new ring, but if, when I change the time to September the 15th of this year, then the outer ring positions change into what they are right now. And here are the progress planets as of today. I'm only interested in two planets for this video. And that is, I'm interested in the Sun, Sun here, natal Sun and natal Mercury, and <clears throat> progressed Sun, and um, well, progressed Mercury. So I will right now t take out all the other planets, take out the Moon, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. All right. Now notice, please, that. The progressed sun today is at 7 Virgo 50. It is two minutes away from being in, within orb of a major progressed sextile. So let's find out when the progressed sun will be at 7.52. So we'll go forward a few days, almost there, on the 18th. 19th, 20th, 21, 22, 23, 24, here you go. On September 24th of this year, the Sun is now within orb, 752, one degree orb, of a sextile, progressed sextile to Mercury. A major progress aspect, like the one we have here, progress sun, sextile, natal mercury. Look at it as a stick of dynamite. Dynamite just lying there, has, has no power, can't achieve anything. You need something else. You need a fuse. And then, besides the fuse, you need something else. You need a match. And in astrology, a dynamite would be the progressed aspect. The fuse would be the minor progressed aspect. And the match would be the transit aspect. So now let's let's go this step by step. We have the stick of dynamite, which is progress sun, sextile, theta mercury. Actually, we have to add two more rings. One for the minor progressions, and another one, the fourth one, for the transits. 
Unfortunately, the program that I have been using here, called Intrepid, is no longer being developed. The owner passed away. Rest in peace. So I will now switch to a program that I've been using for a long, long, long time called Winstar a Matrix. And I will now show you what's called a quad wheel, which means four wheels. I've already calculated the planets, the natal planets, the progressed planets, the uh, minor progressions, and the transits for October the 1st of this year. The innermost ring shows the planet's natal position. The next ring toward the outside shows the major progressed planets on October the 1st of this year. And the next ring toward the outside shows the planet's minor progressed position for October the 1st of this year. And then and the outermost ring shows the planet's position on October the 1st of this year. Here I have taken out all the planets except Sun and Mercury. It shows that there is a major progressed aspect active between the progressed Sun and natal Mercury. And it shows that there is a minor progressed contact which is the fuse and it shows that there is a triggering, there are two triggering contacts, which is the match. And this all starts to happen October the 5th. The influence gets stronger for one year and then it fades out for one year. It's like a radio station that becomes stronger the closer you get to it and then weekends after you pass it. The purpose of this video is not to teach you, the viewer, astrology. It is intended for those of you who have been practicing astrology and like to have another perspective, another way of looking at major progressions. So we have to cover one more thing. We have to find out how a certain major progression will affect the person whose chart is being discussed. So to do this, let's one more time bring up the original birth chart. The sun rules the 10th house natally and the first house by progression. The sun rules the sign Leo, which is on the first house cusp. Mercury is in the 11th house, and uh, it rules Gemini, which is also on the 11th house cusp. And by progression, Mercury rules the 12th house. Mercury also rules Virgo, which is on the second house cusp. Minor progressed Mercury is in the 8th house and the two transiting Sun and Mercury are in the 2nd house. So here are all the houses that will be affected initially by this major progressed aspect. Now as time goes by, other minor progressed aspects will be formed, reinforced by transits. And then additional departments of life, we call them, will be affected. But right now, this is the very first picture. And in conclusion, I would like to quote Alan Leo, a great astrologer, and what he has to say about a sextile aspect between the Sun and Mercury.
Thank you for watching. Thank you for taking your time to do so. I hope you got something out of it. If you're interested in what else I'm into, you're welcome to check out the following links. Have a great day. Happy astrologing. Thank you.